Hello and welcome to your 40th Django tutorial. We're finally done working on newsletters and we're going to jump into working with users. Um, so let's get started. In today's tutorial we're going to focus on just logging in, logging out uh, users. Um, I know we built a control panel and uh, we're eventually going to just allow the administrators to log in there. So the administrators will have access to the control panel and the uh, user account area where the users will only have access to their accounts um, and not the control panel. But that's a little bit broader um, range of what we're looking for today's tutorial. Today we just want to be able to log in and log out, all right? Um, so let's get started. Let's go ahead and kill our server if you have it running. I'll clear my screen and let's start a new um, app. So we'll call it pythonmanage.py uh, start app. And we're going to call it accounts, all right? So this is going to be our user accounts app. Uh, and then you'll see why I call it accounts down the road. But right now, just bear with me. Um, so with that being whoops, hold on. My notes, I just, <laughs> uh, it's one of those days. Uh, so go ahead and open up your master URLs um, in your text editor. So let's go ahead and get that open. Here's my master URLs. All right, I already have it open. Now let's go ahead and add our accounts, uh, URL to our account. So URL, and we're gonna have raw string, and then our carrot, and we're just gonna have accounts, all right, forward slash. Then we'll include our accounts dot URLs, and then app name, We'll just call it accounts. And then our namespace will also be called accounts. All right, we've seen all this before, so there's not much to talk about here. All right, so it's just simple configuration there. <clears throat> now, if you go up to your accounts, let's go ahead and create a uh, uh, urls.py file for this. So urls.py file. And in this file, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have to import URL, uh, so we can use the URL function. So let's do that first from Django dot uh, conf URLs import URL. All right, and now we want to um, use the standard views Django gives us for authentication, so we don't have to rewrite them. You know, basically, don't repeat yourself. Um, technique comes into play here uh, there's no reason unless you absolutely need to to rewrite the authentication for your uh, application here so let's just go uh, from Django uh, contrib dot off import views as off views all right uh, we give it as off views so we have something to uh, reference the views easily. All right. And then we're going to come down here into URL patterns. We've seen this before. It's equal to a list. And then inside this list, we're going to use our URL function and we're going to create a URL for login and logout. So raw string, um, carrot, oops. And then login, forward slash, and dollar sign, comma, and then we're going to say off views, and we're going to grab the login, login view, um, and then name is going to be login. All right, so um, we're just going to grab the pre made cookie cutter view that Django gave us. Now we're going to do uh, URL uh, R. And then log out forward slash dollar sign, and we'll do off views dot log out, and then name is going to be log out. All right, so that's pretty simple up to that point. Um, let's go ahead and create a directory in here I already created it is a registration because I actually did this video and realized I screwed something up so create a directory inside your templates called registration 
and we're gonna create a file called login HTML. All right, to save us time, uh, I'm not gonna make you watch me write this out, but uh, we're gonna do extends and then and then and then and then that before we're gonna use crispy forms. So we load crispy forms dot tags. And in our block content, obviously, we need to pass the content to our base.html. And then in here, you got some um, uh, bootstrap code here. You got container, um, you got form, method, post, form, sign in. All right, so this all looks pretty good. Um, the HTML. H2 heading tag for please sign in, then our forms crispy, and then our button down here is submit, sign in, all right, um, and close out our form. Now, don't forget your uh, cross site registry forgery token. Uh, make sure that's in there. Now, uh, Bootstrap has some pretty cool CSS to make this form look cool. So, what I suggest you do, since I set it up this way to work with that, Go over to Bootstrap, and we're just going to grab this CSS file. So, uh, Bootstrap, um, let's get Bootstrap, and getting started. And then down here, uh, to sign in page, click on that, right click. View page source. We're gonna grab the sign in .css. Go ahead and save that. Command S or Control S, depending on your operating system. Should be faster than this. Go ahead and just save that. And back to our text editor. In here, static. Make sure it's in our CSS file. Sign in CSS. Now you got to go to your base.html file, wherever that is. Uh, there it is. We're going to open that up, and then right here, we're just going to grab this uh, link, copy that right below it, paste it in, um, tab that over. And we're going to take out the bootstrap.min and name it sign in CSS. All right, save that. Now go into, make sure your, no, it's not running. Your uh, server's running, Python manage.py, run server. We're gonna come down and go to our browser and we're gonna type in accounts, log in. Now it should take us to the login page, there we go. And that's the login page I was looking, uh, design I was looking for. And we'll go ahead and hit uh, sign in. And you notice it takes us to accounts uh, forward slash profile. Well, we didn't create that yet. So I kind of want to work with um, something right now. So what we're going to do is, um, and the accounts, I meant to mention, the accounts uh, forward slash profile, that's just a standard setting within uh, Django. So it's going to take us to accounts profile. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and just set something up here. Go to your settings.py file. And then right down here below the media root, let's go ahead and create, uh, put a comment as uh, accounts. All right, so we know it deals with accounts. And we're just going to go ahead and um, put in a uh, global variable here. Login underscore redirect, oops, redirect underscore uh, URL. And we're going to set that equal to home. All right. So it's just going to uh, redirect us home for now. Uh, and then later on, we'll end up changing this just so we can test our system here. So we'll go back. To the login page and let's go ahead and log in again oh there we go it takes us to home so now we're officially logged in awesome how about log out well instead of building a logout view like we could have have a logout dot html view it says hey you logged out i think that's pretty stupid um i rather just 
hey, if you log out, you go right back to the homepage or to something else, um, to something that's not secure. So one way to do that is in your urls.py file. Let's go ahead and um, put uh, one more argument in here. It's going to be inside a dictionary. And we're going to say next underscore page colon oops close out your string and then colon um, and then let's just do a uh, users login page we'll, we'll send them to the login page hey you logged out go back to the login page to log back in all right something like that okay uh, all right so let's try this let's see if it takes us to the login page so back into our browser and what we're going to do is forward slash accounts forward slash log out and it should take us to the sign in page no reverse found oh i don't know why i said users should be force a habit accounts all right so accounts i don't know why i said users. all right uh let's try that again and i'll get away from my server there we go i'll try that again there you go. So it logged me out and took me to the login page. Okay. That's what we're looking for. In the next tutorial, we'll go ahead and keep building on this. There's other things we need to do, like uh, user registration, uh, password resets, stuff like that. Uh, so we'll keep building on this. I'll see you in the next tutorial.